M0FXB setting up the ICOM 7300 with the RSBA1 version 2 remote software. So this is handy bit of software because it will allow you to have a nice big screen on your PC with all the functions. So what I'll do, I'll just quickly connect it so you know what it looks like. So we'll hit connect. You can hear it and then you fire it up. It all connects. You can see the radio. Hit the scope and there it is and you can even change the scope settings. Let's move this over. Scope. There's a, I think there's other windows you can open as well like memory. Bring in memory. Uh, CW here. I've not done that. So as you can see you can change the bands, you know, all the settings within the radio here. And you can control it all on the computer. Okay, so let's just disconnect. Just disconnect for now. So I'm just going to show you my settings when it's disconnected. So connect set. If you look here, I've got uh, USB. Remote utility is the radio. COM4. Now you do want board rate 115-200. And the radio CIV-94 EO. Uh, this one I've left blank. So that's okay. Now if I um, look at settings here. Settings. When you click here you've got microphone h2n which is just a, a, one, a usb mic i've plugged in and i've got the speakers selected on the computer which is this hd one so that's that options i'll look at the server settings i haven't i haven't really set this one up yet so forget that for now we're just doing the usb so when you first fire up this software you get the you get a choice of uh, of four options one two three four another the there's only four, and the one at the bottom on the left is the one you want for USB. It shows a picture of a computer and a radio with a cable in between. So that's the one for USB. <clears throat> now, if I just turn the radio out, you can completely control the radio. Watch, I'll click this, and the radio will come on. There you go. The radio is now on. So I'll just show you the settings that you want in the radio. So just go menu, set, go to connectors, let's go to the top. Now I haven't changed any of these, so ignore all these going down. Data, mod, data off mod is USB, I've got that. Data mod is USB, and then go into the serial function, CIV, I haven't changed that. So what I did was in CIV... The board rate is set on auto. CIV address is 94H. CIV transceiver is on. CIV USB remote transceiver address is 6H. Um, CS, CIV USB port unlink from remote, which allows you to then put in CIV USB board rate 115200, which you need. And then CIV USB echo back. So that's it, really. I haven't really changed anything else. Um, the radio's on as normal. It's a printer cable that I've got between between me and the, <clears throat> the thing. So when you connect, as you can see, it just works. And you can control everything, change the scope, the RF gain. Uh, there's not much about today. If I click 40 meters... You know, do the power amp. Like I said, you can do memories. So any questions, just send me send me a message. <clears throat> as far as I can see, you've seen all the all the settings. If you click AF here, you can adjust the volume there. Mod, you can adjust that volume as well. Monitor, you can actually select TX monitor and you can hear your hear your voice when you transmit, see what you sound like, which is quite good, and you, it, you hear it when you transmit. Um, and then see here, mod, you can see my microphone is going up and down. Um, so, and then AF here. So I, I think, I'm trying to think if there's anything I missed, but, you know, the place I got the software from was just from eBay. I just literally went into eBay uh, in the UK, just put in RSBA1. Now, this software is normally quite expensive. And there's the old version for 27 quid, but the new version was there. 
I'll start to see if I can find the new version because it may be they've um, there it is there okay so have a good look at that the user is prosume and I'll put the link in the description so uh, 7.3 all the best